Hello and welcome back to Fair 12. On the last episode, uh, Ringa took a, an attempt to get information from the old man and his uh, amnesiac accomplice. I, I, not really accomplicing anything really, but uh, there's no other way to describe them. They are kind of working together for... They're trying to benefit each other, basically. Uh, the old man wants the amnesiac girl to learn to fight for herself in the in the not the literal sense because she's already demonstrated she can do that uh, in the I guess metaphorical sense in the, in the um, mentality get, get the mentality to, to fight for themselves um, whereas I believe uh, the girl just wants to protect the old man for being kind to her. But anyway, it it ended with Rinka needing to uh, change clothes, I guess, because uh, we broke... No, well, the washing machine broke, and we got dirty trying to fix it. That's a bit of a ramble to um, recap, so uh, may as well just continue. But, uh... Not only did I get drenched, but the water inside the machine is absolutely filthy. I wish I could exchange this memory for the one uh, that, <laughs> that I'm missing. At least I changed into my school jersey beforehand. My uniform is, my uniform is safe, but I can't say that's enough to make up for my, the experience. Honestly, this is probably the worst thing I've gone through since the Divine Selection started. Then... You haven't really suffered anything. I guess this is the worst. I've only got myself to blame though. It never would have happened if I wasn't such a push uh, uh, yeah, pushover. Uh, naturally. I'm not too keen on using the bath at uh, Shigigeki Shigetsugu's place, so I head to the nearby public bathhouse. Never understood the, the point of a public bathhouse. It's, it's just weird to me. Yay, this place is huge. I can't believe Naomi was right. Hmm? Nothing. This whole time she was actually... She was actually a he. Well, guess I was wrong. I should have known based on his uh, stride and, and his outfit. I mean... What do you mean this outfit? You saying women can't wear what he's wearing? Okay, but his outward appearance is really appearance really and truly makes him look like a girl. I guess I've got Mihara to blame for warping my warping my perspective. Perspective. Anyway, she carries herself more like a boy, so part of me sees it as normal. Despite understanding she's a rare exception to the norm. Uh. I can only sigh at my own silliness. Youngsters like you shouldn't be sighing at their lives away. I mean... What else is there to do? You're the blame for it. Oh ho, how frightening. They both tagged along with me to the bathhouse. I guess I should be thankful that he's a boy, now I, we won't end up alone in here. Making conversation with him would be a challenge by itself, but I can't hide it my fear. Plus, ooh, random things popping up on my screen. Plus, something's odd about it, how we both suddenly got headaches when we came face to face. That is a bit weird, to be fair. Simultaneous head, like, you gotta notice, like, you know, well, like, at the same time, at the same, like, intensity, it has to be related to our memory somehow. Come along. Okay. He scurries along behind uh, Shigetsugu. Now that I think about it, Shigetsugu hasn't referred to him by name. Maybe to ensure that I don't get my hands on his name card, but it's possible that he simply doesn't know it. I'm not quite sure how I reached that conclusion, but it might explain why I find their relationship so abnormal. Triggering someone so... F uh, what? I'm treating someone as family despite not even knowing their name. Uh, I should get some. 
I'll get some weird looks if I want stuff like that to myself. First thinking, more washing. Wasn't expecting this kind of CG. Phew. A sigh pours out of, my, uh, out of me as I soak in the warm water. This time it's a relaxed one though. I usually just shower at home, so it's been a while since I've gotten to enjoy a bath like this. It's been even longer since I was a last at a bathhouse. I mean, again, why do bathhouses exist? It's still weird. I was still in elementary school, so I came with my gran. Gran, I whisper quietly so that the sound of the faucet will drown it out. I st still message and talk to her over the phone, but I haven't seen her at all since March. She's my one and only family. I can't blame her. Since uh, she has the other relatives, since she has other relatives, it's hard to not feel so lonely sometimes. Then again, I should be thankful that she's away right now. Otherwise, she'd run the risk of being taken hostage by people like number uh, 11. Don't need to worry about uh, Leith being targeted. At least, not like it can... Oh yeah, not like it can talk. Leith the cat. I Uh, the next time I'll be able to see her is over summer vacation. I'll be sure to pay her a visit. Summer vacation. Assuming I don't get eliminated, Divine Selection is scheduled to end around then. So I won't ever get to see her again if I'm eliminated. However, being the sole survivor means I won't be able to see Miharu ever again. Sonya's words come to mind. It's possible to alter fate so it lets us both make it through together. There are still so many unknowns within the Divine Selection, but I feel like I know which answer I should be pursuing. Thinking about how Sonya caused caused my eyes to tear up, but I suck it up and keep it, them from falling. I mean, if anything, let them fall and just wash it away with the water. I know you're in a public place, but like, at least that way you can... Well, actually not true, because then your eyes would get red. But you could blame it on the soap. I need to focus on what I can do right now. Things don't quite uh, don't go quite as I expected, but I can still make the most of this situation. This, uh, that's the conclusion I've come to. My initial plan was to get my hands on Shigetsugu's uh, and the boys' information, but I can leave that alone for now. I'm pretty sure they don't think poorly of me. I don't think they think of you at all, really. They, besides, they. Like, Hmm, that girl was strange. Yes, that girl was strange. And then that's as far as the conversation goes. Though I guess Shigetsugu might, um... Try and just, like, nudge, I guess, to be friends, maybe? That sounds like a, like a... Because obviously they're, they're seemingly, uh... Well, like, grandfather, grand... son, you know, uh dynamic, so, you know, he might try and advi advocate for that. In that case, it's possible for me to form an alliance with them, but they don't want to play. Doing that will put me on level grounds against the likes of Alan and numeral 11. However, I'm not convinced that I have it in me to eliminate those two when the time comes. I feel like I'd struggle when, uh, with it even now. I lack Miharu's determination. I'm too used to Danganronpa Mahiru, but this is Miharu. You gotta get the I and the A the right way around for both of them. Even if Sonya had asked me to eliminate her, I'd highly doubt I would have been able to. Let's think about something more pleasant. Like the fireworks display we all promised to go see, for example. Which appeared to take place after the Divine Selection ends. It's possible that to... It's impossible to influence my thoughts away from the Divine Selection. So, I resort to counting the, the droplets of water that fall from my hair. Fair enough, really. I think, yeah, I feel like everyone would be, yeah, a little stressed. I guess besides these two. Is there a reason you wait for me? Both Shigetsugu and the boy are perched on the sofa by the entrance. The boy's fallen asleep I, with his back against it, though. This one was rather adamant, you see. I'll sleep before you finish, though. Holly surprising with that frame. 
must have exhausted, uh, must be exhausted after finding two la uh, large foreigners. Uh, you could have left him with me. Come now. Uh, he was giddy about being able to speak with someone around his age. I can only assume he had had no friends before, and now he's being avoided by those in our neighborhood. Are he and I really that close in age? He's not much smaller than me, but his attitude and facial expressions make him seem years younger. I give the boy another look up and down. Honestly, I find it hard to believe that someone like him could make those two retreat. I mean, if he's got amnesia, I guess his personality could revert to like a childlike, like, you know, like from five to like eight. That's, 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 I guess that's my range from, from like childlike, even though obviously you're a child until 12, technically. But like, so basically, yeah, that's why I think someone their age, as uh, Rinka described it, could make those expressions. Which is understandable, but it's, uh, something similar happened to me, it happened before. I waited for him to follow up, but he offers a smile instead. I'd like to go on, but boy, am I thirsty. Could you get me some coffee milk? I hate to wake him, by <laughs> wake him up by moving. Sure. I return after grabbing something for the both of us. Oops, I only brought enough uh, to pay f for the bath. Mind if I pay you back later? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is intentional, isn't it? Oh, not at all. Unimpressed as I am with... What? Unimpressed as I am uh, over an old uh, man mooching off someone my age, I'm better off forcing him to keep talking. It wasn't too long after I'd met him. I'd woken up in the middle of the night, so I took him out for a walk. I had to use the restroom while we were out, unfortunately, and fortunately a nearby park had one. After taking care of business, I returned to find him gone. His, cu his curiosity had gotten the better of him, leading him to chase a small animal. As I wandered around looking for him, uh, three young men approached. Not friendly youngsters either. They were the type to prey on old men. Uh, even I'm aware that I don't look well off, but I doubt they cared. They were satisfied with any target weaker than them. Uh, one punched me before demanding giving uh, me uh, and my money. Why before? Always why? Why before? Another was uh, another stood by, bat in hand. That's awful. However, he came back during that. After processing the situation, he asked me a simple question. He asked me, are these people trying to hurt you? Part of me regrets saying yes. Uh, yeah. I guess he messed them up that badly. As soon as I did, he wasted no time in hospitalizing all three. Jesus. I am mesmerized as he describes the events in detail. He dodged a bat swing and ripped it from the assailant's hands in one motion, uh, following up with a solid blow to his face. Uh, he then struck the legs of the second one with said bat before smashing uh, them in the face as well. The one who punched Shigu, uh, Shigu, Shigetsugu tried to run, but the boy spun around uh, to build up momentum before fighting the uh, flinging the bat straight at his head. He finished by knocking the final attacker off of his feet, jumping on top of him and strangling him into unconsciousness. I didn't even have a chance to make him stop. There's no doubt Shigetsugu would have experienced far worse had the boy not shown up. They would have beaten him regardless of whether or not he gave the, the money. He approached me after, uh, afterwards and casually suggested we go home. I was gobsmacked, to say the least. But I wasn't afraid. If anything, I was relieved. I knew I could rely on him uh, not to buckle under the threat of violence. Do you think the boy is programmed to fight like that? Most likely. He has to be aware of his own size and fra uh, frailty. I can only imagine that what fearsome things lay dormant in his memories. There's simply no way a child could fight like that without proper combat training and experience. Child soldiers in countries, uh, wait, in country, countries rifle with combat, or rife with combat, 
Don't know why I was adding an L. Yeah, right with the combat to come to mind. I'm only aware of what I've seen in the news, but there's pl been plenty of pictures featuring kids holding weapons and engaging in warfare. Submin Shigu. Sh Shigetsugu. His name always will stump me. Shigetsugu, and then. Uh, yeah. Assuming Shigetsugu's right, then he might be far from a place. Okay. Then he might be from such a place. Sorry. It would have explained his cause of death, too. Being exposed to fire it seems like it's be common. I truly believe that this kid is kind hearted by nature, though. He fights not for himself, but for my sake. Is that your way of dis differentiating uh, him from numerals 3 and 11? There's no comparison, especially not against people I don't know. I'm simply saying what I believe. I can't say I know much about him. And yet, for some reason, I can see where Shigetsugu's coming from. Well, we should probably mosey along. Would you be so kind to carry him back for me? I'd hate to wake him up now. He's doing this on purpose, I know he is. But I mean, we're also a frail old man. Well, you're a frail old man. But yeah, he's definitely doing it on purpose. Just, as I, uh, just like that, I end up carrying the boy home. We're both uh, a similar size, so I need to stop to catch my breath now and again. One thing I've noticed is that he's more built than I, you'd expect. Apologies for making you do this, but my back, yeah, my poor back just won't allow it. Can you just be quiet, please? Oh, how intimidating. Shikatsugu isn't the most pleasant person to deal with, I gathered. That aside, the kid must be as young as I think, based on how deep asleep he is. I mean, fighting does take a lot of energy, and we haven't really seen what he ate. Unless he ate, no, oh, he ate dumplings, right? Is that what Shikatsugu made? Uh, cool. Uh, mom, why do you have to die? That's a good question. I hear him mumbling in the sleep. His speech differs a fair bit from how he speaks with Shigetsugu, the shoe. I stopped dead in my tracks. This might be what I've been looking for. There's something the matter. I had to take a break. I moved his attention away from me with that answer. It doesn't uh, seem like he's noticed what just happened. I repeat the boy's words in my head as we're walking along. It has to be his regret. I'm not going to assume that his amnesia didn't, doesn't restrict the content of his dreams. So his conscious mind forgot, but his subconscious remembers. In the same vein, it's no stretch to say that he lost his mother at a young age due to where he was raised. Which means his regret shouldn't be too hard to guess. I do my best not to think about any it, but think about it any further though. I best save it for when I get home. Shigetsugu might realize that I've obtained in roll for's regret card if I my book starts to glow here. We have a book with us? We have brought a book with us? Ideally, I'd want to avoid making them wary of me. I can feel the sweat running down my brow. Not from my nerves, but because I'm ex exerting myself right after a hot bath. I'll have to take another shower once I'm home and done with this. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. That you have to wash, exert yourself, wash, when you could just exert yourself once, wash once. Bedroom's on the second floor. Could you take them up while I put a, a put on some tea? Gee's fine. I sigh again before ca uh, being forced to carry the boy upstairs despite carrying him the whole way home. This has been nothing but size. Here it is, the bedroom door is half open already, so it's easy to find my destination. I approach the futon and lay him down and uh, let him off. Are we... I'm surprised that no one's entered the house while we were gone. He grabs under my arm. Uh, he must be confusing me with uh, the mother appearing in his dream. His tightness gets the best of him though, and he lets go of my arm right after. The strength of his grip was shocking. Guess he is a boy after all. Even though he still looks like a girl to me. I mean, I don't think that implies. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, someone's grip, grip strength. Or, well, just strength in general, really. Honestly, I wouldn't blame anyone for thinking it. Just look at that face. On the flip side, I probably 
I'd probably just be feeling pretty nervous right now if he looked uh, both his age and his gender. He must be around two or so years younger than me. So even if it were the case, I'd probably be fine. What's that? I know there's a half-open drawer at the bottom of my eye. After I'm sure that yeah, Shigetsugu isn't coming upstairs, I make my way over to it. Sure, it's half-open drawer, and it's stuck in that in here. I can't see inside, so I open it nice and slow. I was worried about the noise accompanying it would make. It would wake up the boy, but it didn't. I can still barely see inside, even after opening it. So I light up, light up with my phone. Photos? The shelf is full of old photos. Easily over a hundred. On closer inspection, uh, some are like, relatively new. The contents are, uh, are most, well, mostly the same family pictures. Featuring in them are an old couple, their grandson and, and his parents. The grandfather has to be Shigetsugu. Not wanting to miss any details, are you? My shoulders stiffened in response to the quiet voice from behind me. You sure we're taking your time, so I came up to call you down for tea, come. All I can do is nod without turning around. Much like this afternoon, he made me, uh, he made, he's made tea for me and it's not going to be great. But unlike it then, I take my time drinking it. Too bad that doesn't help me uh, make it taste any better. I'm sorry for looking at those photos without permission. I'm the one who left it open. There's no need to apologize. I might as well say that you're free to eliminate me too. While well, I'm at it. What? There's certainly nothing wrong with an old man like myself getting a few more years uh, out of his life. But truth be told, I'm not concerned about it. With just that, I understand the meaning behind those photos. Those... That's your regrets, isn't it? The family that you uh, helped so dear. Those were a few pictures of them abroad as well. He's living alone now, but it's likely that the rest of his family stayed here at some point. An old man like me has no reason to have hope for the future. That's why I catch myself wishing to go back to those days. A regret rooted neither in the present nor the future, but the past. Parker said that one's uh, uh, regret represents the future. That's not always the case. Regret is born from something you can't bring yourself to give up on. In that case, it's logical that that wanting to go back to better times becomes one's regret. You can't go back to the past though. Well, I'm aware. Being with him has helped me overcome my loneliness though. It brings back good memories. Can you still say that knowing it won't last? I believe we see diff uh, things different. Such a reality doesn't scare me in the slightest. His tone makes it clear that he has no ulterior motive. My sole concern is whether or not uh, he would be able to live happily uh, should he survive the divine selection. I hope you're not expecting it, uh, me an uh, well, I hope you're not expecting an answer from me. You must have an idea regarding his regret. Yes. His question takes me by surprise. I've heard him mumbling in the sleep a number of times as well. Those must be those memories deep within his psyche. I noticed your surprise over at something as we were walking back. This old man is very perceptive. I figured he didn't notice me at the time, but he simply chose to keep quiet. This old man really is a mystery. Both our regrets are similar, both are rooted in the past, never to come to fruition. That's why you're worried about whether or not he can find happiness after this is all over. Don't tell me that's really why you wanted me to carry him. Heavens no. Even I wouldn't do something that cruel. It was a pure co uh, coincidence. He laughed it off, but it didn't, it didn't quell my suspicion. What exactly is your goal here? No, nothing's coming to come from letting him control the conversation. I'm not sure if he's doing it on purpose or if it's just the kind of person he is, but I'm over it. Could I ask you to make some make him some dinner? No? You want me to repeat that? How about this? Uh, you do it to me as a favor just, this, uh, just once and I'll tell you my cause of death. You're missing the point here. All I want is to help this, him overcome his regret. Even just a little. He pauses briefly before explaining. Cooking is my forte to say the least. I've only been able to provide him with ready-made meals from convenience stores at the supermarket. 
Can't you just try and uh, cook him something then? Oh, my daughter-in-law once said the same thing. Okay, then, so you just had a trip. You think the family? Oh, we, of course he did. We just saw the photos. Uh, so did you live together at some point then? Only a few years after my son's marriage. My wife passed, to, passed away sometime before then. So both of them came to live with me. They left not long, uh, long before my grand her grandson was... What? Yeah, grandson. Grandchild. I can read. I haven't seen much of them since. There is a tinge of sadness in his voice as he recalls the past. His regret uh, may have come about during the... Yeah, the time when they live, were living together. I've never seen him look so emotional. That's all I need to confirm that his regret is rooted in those days. Goodness, we've certainly got, not, got off topic. What I'm trying to say is that there's no point in, in it being my cooking. But, uh, wait a minute. I'll finally catch on what he's, uh, why he's so particular about this. His regret wouldn't happen to be about his mother's cooking, would it? Light spells... Wait, light spells forth from a bag at the moment. So, hold, hold, what? Specifically, his regret is about food? It has been resolved when we have figured out number uh, four's regret. A regret he'll never be able to fulfill. Shigetsugu casts his eyes over the bag for a moment, likely having understood what just happened, but, uh, but before continuing. I'm not sure whether he had the opportunity to taste his own mother's cooking or not. But something unexpected happened one day while we were out, if downing out. He was watching TV there, where one of those uh, those everyday shows was, was airing. One of the characters uh, was the mother of the child around his age. There was a scene involving them both, where the child looked elated while eating his mother's cooking. Why you run another male scene for such shows? But he started to cry as he was watching. He wasn't even sure why. So it must have been subconscious. It's, it's have subconsciously stirred up as if from his forgotten memories. He'd watched TV. Uh, he'd watched TV play before that, but this was the first time he'd ever had such a reaction. Having realised what was going on, my book began to glow, and thus I obtained his card. So what? I'm supposed to be a, a surrogate for his mother? Do you realise how unreasonable that is? Of course I do. That's why I offered my cause of death in exchange. His tone of it, his tone turns far more coercive, likely an attempt to persuade me to agree. The sudden change in it is surprising, but I hold my ground and stare him down. It isn't an attempt to hide my surprise or fear. I just really, I'm just really angry with him. You only have yourself to blame uh, for your regret. I'm aware of that too. His painful acknowledgement is followed by a lowering of his head. He loves it so far that his head almost touches the floor. I realize now that I'm treating uh, this like a deal that, what? I realize now that treating this like a deal won't work. But please hear me out. It may simply be an act to satisfy my own ego. Even so, I'd like you to make something for him. Uh, Any time to think. What's the correct way to respond to this? It's highly possible that number four won't be able to fulfill his regret even if he lives through, uh, through this. Not to mention, there's no way that my own cooking will help him do so. What happens after I do this? Assuming that I get uh, Shigetsugu's uh, cause of death and use it to eliminate him, what would happen after that? Is he even thinking that far ahead? I want to do anything I can for him. That statement alone tells me that uh, he isn't. At the same time, it tells me just how much he cares. It's the same mindset that I had towards Sonya, after all. I'll do it, really. On one condition, it's already late, so I'll make him hit dinner for him tomorrow. But after that, I'm cutting all ties with the both of you. So don't hold it against me if I el eliminate either of you down the line. Make sure to tell him this as well. Understood. As I said, I have no intention of going after others, but other participants in the first place. But keep in mind that I won't be able to stop him, should he decide to eliminate others. A brief tense silence follows his claim. He isn't bluffing, that much I can tell. That's fine, it pretty much describes the situation as it stands. I answer without much hesitation. 
My best option is to, is to lower the chance that I become their target. Fair enough, really. Yeah, fair enough. Granted, I've already uh, settled on the green to his proposition before talking into the uh, consideration. His desire hits too close to his desire hits too close to home uh, to refuse. Perhaps life would be uh, would have been different if I had been able to handle things like this in the past. He mutters under his breath. He likely intended for me not to hear him. I'm going home for real this time. I'll be back around 6 p.m. tomorrow. Don't worry about uh, the shopping. I'll handle it. Very well. It's about time I wake him up too. I watch it as he pulls himself in, uh, onto his feet. Is something the matter? I still owe you for the milk coffee. Oh no, you still owe me for the milk coffee. While we're at it, I want uh, money for tomorrow's shopping too. You'll get your uh, change back when I arrive. Stingy youngsters. <laughs> Stingy youngsters. It's common courtesy. It is kind of common courtesy. I agree to cook for him, but I certainly won't be pre preparing a five star meal. I'm sure that Chikatsugu will rule out of paying me back unless I demand it right now. So there you have it. Yeah, fair enough. He eventually gives me, it gives in and gives me three 1,000 yen notes. What's that? 30 pounds? Or 30 bucks? I don't know. After that, I can finally leave. I think for that, honestly, I should call it. Uh, it's been eventful, really. We learned a card and we won a deal to get a second card. I don't know if it's the second one, but to get another card. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully I can see you in the next one. For that, goodbye.